Yep. It is snowing today. It was coming down pretty good five minutes ago. Today we're honestly not doing that much work. We got to bring the 245 down in town where we're doing the storage units. And then we're going out on the barge. We just put it in the water the other day. Good. Good. And we got to deliver some block to the island where we were doing a foundation last fall. I don't know what after that, probably float the cat and then that'll be the day. pizza isn't open otherwise I'd be eating a lot of pizza over the next couple days it's a bit of a tight fit through here I did measure it so basically we're doing another one of these right out here I think 16 feet away yeah that was pretty close Now we're getting in the really big float and going out to the barge. As in, I, I, meant, I meant this by the really big float, not the big floating barge. So this is our barge we keep out on this lake. It is 20 feet wide and the deck is, I think, 50 feet long. Uh, it's got two Suzuki 150s on it that are new last year. The old Merc 150s were wore out. And we went from two stroke to four stroke, which is so much nicer because it's nice and quiet in the cab. Lower the motors down. Start them up. Our two ramps on the front and our spuds are hydraulically driven. We've got a motor on the back here.
going to get centered on the boat ramp over there to load up. Most of our steering is done with the two motors here. Got Jerry number one pulling in. I think he's going to come out and show us how it's done. Get lined up here, toss starboard and forward. Port and forward. Once we get close, we'll hit this one, bam, ramps down. Straighten ourselves out. A little higher up shore maybe. And I almost forgot something really important. You got to lift your motors up or else when you load on the barge, it will sink them. But if you don't have the motors far enough down, then you can't back up because it just pushes the water against the back of the barge and you don't go anywhere. yesterday no problem today I'm just moving around a bit of material at an idle and that comes on kind of weird not sure how we ended up with three skids that don't have any wrap on them got to do some smooth operating and hopefully they stay together track loader isn't exactly the smoothest thing going on and off the barge it's already coming apart and I'm not even doing anything we got a couple of rack straps holding it together now. Should be fine. We got Captain, Captain Jerry behind the wheel. Showing us how it's done. Meeting. We're just shooting some grades here, getting the height of this building and then go see what we're going to need for fill in here. So our new building is six meters away from this one. It's not quite as long, but we're 140 feet long, uh, something like 32 feet wide. We're just going to strip all this kind of organic-y crap out of here and then we'll kind of prep our base and put in some gravel. It's already pretty late in the day today, so we won't go too far, or won't get too far.
So the water table is quite high here. That's why we're running the excavator instead of the track loader right now. I mean, either machine's a good option because it's pretty much flat here. We're just stripping off some topsoil, but I think uh, the track loader would vibrate the ground a lot more than the excavator and kind of bring more water to the surface. Not that it really matters. I think the gravel that's in here is, is all right. is definitely wet. The material that's under here looks pretty good. I just want to scrape the, a little bit of crap off the top. That's a lot of crap right there. Most of this is, I think, like sand and gravel that was hauled in to actually fill the old swamp that was here maybe like 20, 25 years ago. This isn't exactly the right way to do this, but uh, we're just going to crush some of these trees into this hole here and we're going to put all this fill that we dug out in here. If there was actually big trees in here, I'd cut it down with a chainsaw, but it's just crappy little twigs.
that is it for this job here today we got that top layer of crap stripped off there pretty quickly there was hardly anything besides that one spot but now we've got to go float the cat for scott tomorrow i think he's running it to, at another job and then yeah we'll be back here first thing in the morning what do you guys think about this wedge coupler on the bucket here see how far it sticks out past the bucket when you're flat i'm scared i'm going to be swinging around one day or you know trying to get my bucket flat up against the building and smash the building with that it just doesn't seem right i've never seen one that sticks out that far Doesn't sound healthy when it does that. And then there should be one really loud one. There we go. We got our Bluetooth binders. 